Carrie TV. I know that sounded fake. <laughs> all right, let me be me. It's 2018. It's time to cut out all the fluff. My name is Dershawn. I'm a professional makeup artist. Blah, 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 blah. If you want to know more about me, leave questions below and I'll do a video specifically answering all of your questions to get to know me. So anyway, back to this video. A lot of you have requested a detailed tutorial on how I do my eyebrows on a daily basis. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. I'm not going to leave anything out. I'm going to show you step by step in full detail and I'll try to explain as much as possible how I do my eyebrows. And if you stick around until the end of this video, I have some bonus content and tips that may be beneficial to you. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Alright guys, I'm back and I went ahead and did my makeup because I didn't want this video to be too long. So I just did everything that I would typically do besides the eyeshadow. I mainly did that for dramatic effects for the camera because I do not wear eyeshadow on a daily basis. All right, let's get into it. Alright, so now I'm going to start filling in the brow. I always like to start with the brow that has that looks lighter than the other one because this is my darker brow. So I, I always like to start with this one and I'm using my Dare Glam Beauty brow pencil and I'm taking the angle, the tip of it right here. I'm taking that part and I'm starting in the middle of my brow and I'm just feathering it, almost treating the pencil like it's a brush. I don't want to think of it as a pencil because then I might think, oh, let me draw my eyebrow. No, we don't want to do that. All I'm doing is brushing the hairs up and out with the pencil. And the reason why I start in the middle because naturally, once we go in, our hand is a little bit too heavy. So I don't want to apply heavy color right here in the front because then my eyebrows are gonna look evil. So I start in the middle and I work my way toward the end. And when I get to the end right here, I apply a little bit more pressure. And I turn the brush to the side of the angle part and I just press even harder because naturally our eyebrows, they grow like they're starting light and then they go dark toward the end. And it creates dimension as well, so it looks like a more realistic eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back to the front and I'm gonna create little hair strokes like this. I just go back in and comb the hairs up and out. Now, here comes the fun part. Now, I'm purposely not going to do this eyebrow so that you can see the difference. I'm going to go ahead and take concealer and clean up underneath. And this is the part that makes the brow look very precise and very clean. I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fine. I like to squeeze a little bit out on the back of my hand like that. And then I'm taking this flat synthetic brush. It's kind of firm, but it's flexible at the same time. We don't want it to be too, too stiff, but we do want it stiff enough for this particular part. So what I'm doing here is I'm picking up a little bit of the concealer with the tip of the brush and then I'm raising my brows up just a little bit and then I go underneath in short strokes to create a line underneath the eyebrow. You don't want to glide it too hard because you're going to wipe away the product. So the idea is to, as you're gliding it, I guess, you want to kind of place it there. Because if you go and swatch it, like swipe it across, you're going to wipe all the product off and then you're going to wipe your eyebrow off. And we don't want that. And don't worry about blending this out just yet because we still have a lot of product on the brush and I want to use what's left on the brush to clean up the top of the brow as well. I'm just using what's left on the brush. I'm not taking any extra product and I'm basically doing the exact same thing that I did underneath. Then you can take your brush and begin to start blending that harsh line away. Oh, 
I like to blend the front of it just to just to kind of feather it out so it don't look so placed on if that makes sense I don't want my eyebrow to look too too fake And that completes my eyebrow tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something. Comment below, let me know what you want to see next. And be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss another video. Until next time, stay gorgeous and God bless. Now, as you can see, <clears throat> and I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see my, this is my natural bare face with nothing on it. So I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see how my eyebrows really look. So these are my natural eyebrows, and they've always been this way for as long as I can remember. They never grow thick at all, and I haven't waxed, tweezed. Pluck. I haven't done anything to my eyebrows in years. When I say years, years. I may like ever so often try to like with a razor, an eyebrow razor, I'll try to like clean up these tiny little hairs right here just to make it look sharp. But other than that, I try not to touch them because like I said, my eyebrows don't grow thick at all and I really want a full brow. So lately I have been using my Dare Glam Beauty Eyebrow Pencils and the shade that I love to use is Natural Brown. And here's how the pencil looks. It's like an angled shape. The formula is more like a crayon texture. So it won't be too harsh on your eyebrows. It will still look very natural. Also on the other end of the pencil is a spoolie. This will help to comb out your eyebrows if they're like all over the place. So all I do is I just take the spoolie or the brush, I just take the brush and I just, I just brush my eyebrow hairs up like this. And then for my arch, when I get toward the arch and the tail end of it, I keep going up, but I'm going out and down, if that makes sense. So I'm just following my natural brow shape because I just want all of my hairs to be uniform and just look like a nice, clean eyebrow. Don't be stressed when you're doing your eyebrows because they're not gonna be perfect. Now this brow, it gives me a lot of trouble because when I was younger, I had an accident and I fell right on my face and all of this bust wide open. So I had to get stitches right here and my hair never grew back. But it's okay because, you know, it could have been worse. I just thank God I'm alive and well and all I have to do is fill it in. It's not a big deal. Now this eyebrow, oh my goodness. This brow, I feel like this brow, the hairs are much darker. And this brow, the hairs are way, like, they're there, but they're just way too light. So I always have an issue trying to make this eyebrow match up with the color of this one. But I know they're not gonna be identical twins. I know they're gonna be fraternal twins or sisters and sometimes cousins, but we're gonna make it work. Nobody's eyebrows grows perfect. If you look at your natural eyebrows, the two are not exactly the same. Everybody has something about one eyebrow that they don't like 
one eyebrow is more arch than the other one eyebrow is more thick than the other so don't stress about it like don't try to create a perfect brow there's no such thing i like to follow my natural eyebrow shape try to match them as closely as possible to each other When you're filling in your eyebrow, you want to make sure the front of your eyebrow, this part right here, that it lines up with the side of your nose. So if you were to put this pencil right here to line it up, this is where the front of your eyebrow should start. Also, when you take this pencil and you turn it to line up with the end tail of your eyebrow and your nose, this is where the end of your eyebrow should stop. Here's the beginning of the brow, and here's the end of the brow, okay? So do not go past these points, which is pretty obvious. Like, you just basically wanna follow your natural eyebrow. Now, as far as your arch is concerned, naturally, your arch lines up with the center part of your pupil. 